Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while. It's the easy driver coming back at you from the United States. I'm actually in uh, Portland, Oregon. For goodness gracious, how sad this place is. Beautiful city. I just came over the bridge. It's obviously rush hour on a Friday night, but homeless everywhere. Portland was the worst of the defund the police and the worst of America. People expecting something for nothing and not appreciating our constitutional republic. In any event, you ever wonder what happened to that Serbian dictator I spoke about last time? I saw the other day on TV that Yale University out in Connecticut, where I'm from originally, keeps a list of companies with a significant presence in Russia. You know, the so-called list of shame that they're calling it. The list of Professor Jeffrey Sonnenfeld, Steve and Tian, and I think that's how you pronounce it, research team from the Yale School of Management has been around, you know, it's been a few months now, uh, but they're currently, you know, the, the best thing globally. Anyway, here's what happened. World's biggest media companies are reporting about it. The whole world is watching, but guess which country on the list is suppressing it? In Serbia, of all places, under the regime of dictator Aleksandar Vucic. Yes, the only party mentioned in the list is Serbia. And updating the list daily on social media is President Nikola Sandulovic and the Republican Party in Serbia. Whoa! This Vucic dude is so uncanny. Must be a new form of dictator Vucic's warfare against the United States of America. God, he's like the size of a gorilla, but his head is like a monkey. <laughs> Easy Rider out from Portland, Oregon. We're heading back to the Midwest. Maybe we'll see you somewhere around Minneapolis. Cheers.